compliments. No problem on the right. They came up close. We put in a reserve. We didn't put it all in, sir. Wishes to know if you have any further orders. Tell Devon all reserve forward now. Devil to pay. Can you hold? I reckon I can. Now, John, he probably has about 10,000 men coming down that road, would you say? Yes, sir, sure, there'll be a lot more behind him. Well, we've got about 20,000 we can put in the field. We're in very good shape, I think. For a while, sir. Sending messages to all my commanders and come to this place with all possible speed. Lovely ground. I hope so, sir. Now let's go surprise Harry Heath. General Heath. Sir, beg a report. Yes. Very strange, sir. The situation is very confused. What's happened? Well, sir, I moved in this morning as director. I thought it was only a few militia, but it was dismounted cavalry, sir. Well, there weren't all that many, and the boys wouldn't hold back. I thought we shouldn't ought to be stopped by a few dismounted cavalry, but they made a good fight. They, they really put up a scrap, sir. Go on, General. Well, sir, they wouldn't leave. My boys got the down to up. We deployed the whole division and went after them. We just about had them running, then all of a sudden they got up infantry support. We got pushed back. Then, then we, we reformed and tried again. We couldn't just leave it to them, sir. But now there's more Yankee infantry coming up. I, I don't know how many, but I don't know what else we could have done. It started out as a minor scrap with a few militia, and the next thing I know, I'm, I'm tangled with half the Union Army. Things will get out of control, Mr. Heath. That is why we have orders. Is it possible you could have misunderstood them? No, sir. Can you identify those people? The infantry is the first car, the Black Hats. There's another car coming up we still haven't identified. I must have all possible information on the enemy's threat. Major Taylor. Sir. I want you to ride forward yourself to the highest position and observe, and do be careful. Yes, sir. Help! Sir, shall I attack? No, sir. We are not yet ready for a full engagement. General Longstreet is not up with his call. Sir, the enemy is disorganized. If we throw in all our forces down on the field, we will have the advantage. Is that our artillery? Yes, sir. I cannot imagine what has happened to General Stewart. I have heard nothing. Do you understand me, sir? Yes, sir. I have no idea what lies in front of me. It may be the entire Federal Army. Colonel Davin. 
Troubles are coming down the road from the north. Your truck, sir. That'll be you, old Gore. He's trying to flank us. We've got to meet him. Horses will go online. See Colonel Devon. Tell him to get up that way as quick as he can. We'll get Gamble's boys back in the saddle and be there shortly. Pender's artillery? Yes, sir. He's up now, sir. Four batteries in position with two more in reserve. Sir, with General Rhodes attacking up there, and Pender and I, we have three divisions, sir. We can sweep them. Okay. General, sir, I saw only two Federal Corps, 1st and 11th. And, General, I saw Early's lead columns coming down north of Rhodes' lines. He'll be engaged any minute, sir. So we've got 20,000 infantry coming down almost behind the Union lines. It's perfect, sir. God's will. General, it would appear the fight is already underway. General Heath, you may attack, sir. My orders to all commanders, attack. Dead. 